Welcome to our session on policy coordination. Um, tough acts to follow from this morning. Those were fabulous opening presentations this morning, I thought. Um, so as some of you may know, uh, yesterday there was uh, a policy roundtable related to the theme of this session. So we had a roundtable of policy officials from provincial and federal governments or government agencies um, uh, with, with the leadership of CRWDP and its uh, provincial clusters also there. Uh, the goal of, of that roundtable was not so much to identify at this stage recommendations for uh, policymakers, but to begin a dialogue among policy officials and, and CRWDP leadership uh, around uh, how, to, how we can enhance the quality and relevance of the future research of the work of the center in order to inform policy uh, particularly around this question of policy coordination and navigability of the array of work disability programs. Um, broadly speaking, coordination might be viewed as the way different disability programs interact with each other, and navigability is about the ease with which individual uh, clients, individual disabled persons can identify the programs most suitable for them as well as move between programs when their circumstances change. Um, so yesterday's roundtable was focused on those issues, as is our, is the, the first, uh, or our session this morning. Um, so we're interested in, in that, those issues of coordination, navigability, in the context, of course, of the larger objective of better supporting people when disabled to, to participate in the labor force. Um, so I'm going to just briefly mention some of the key things that we heard yesterday, um, and then we'll proceed to, uh, to our panel. Uh, we've got three terrific speakers who are going to talk about different aspects of this issue of, of coordination and navigability of disability programs. Um, so yesterday at the Policy Roundtable, among the things we heard, this is a very sort of quick um, uh, digest of some of the key things that came up in yesterday's session. Uh, so we heard, first of all, um, well actually late in the session, but I think it, it, it has a kind of uh, priority to it, that CRWDP should articulate a vision of the characteristics of a good system. What, what would a good system look like in terms of the ability of disabled persons to find the supports they need? How, how would we uh, identify the key characteristics of a well-functioning system? Uh, so CRWDP should articulate a vision for what would be the key characteristics of what that system would look like. Um, there was a strong message on the need for plain language information about how to navigate the array of disability programs. There's, you know, there's quite a number of, of different um, disability programs, disability income support programs, uh, programs that offer other supports to disabled persons to, to participate in, uh, in work. Um, and there was a sense that it's difficult for an individual to know um, what's the appropriate program for them, where to start, how to navigate the system, and that having um, plain language information, perhaps a portal for those who are able to, to you know, at, utilize a, a website well, to have a portal uh, that would do that. But there was also um, discussion of the idea for those with particularly complex situations, a personal navigator, that there would be a team of people who would be available to help people navigate through the system so that they can find the, the programs that are appropriate for them. Um, that idea was connected to the idea of facilitating seamless transitions to help people move from one program to another as their circumstances change. Um, and ensuring continuity of supports to participate in employment even if the form of income support changes. The continuity of the other supports was, was emphasized. Um, there was also a strong sense of continuing to have dialogue with people about their lived experience that, that will be important for CRWDP going forward to maintain an ongoing dialogue with uh, d disabled persons um, and about their lived experience in trying to navigate the system. Um, another point related to that was that um, when we talk about having dialogue with people sort of on the front lines, that it's important to dialogue with um, not only 
uh, the clients, but the frontline service deliverer. People were involved in frontline service delivery. If we want to, um, at the end of the day, identify policies that are going to work better, we need to engage the people who are involved in service delivery and not just the, the policy officials. That was a, another strong message from yesterday. Um, there were, excuse me, there were several ideas about future research yesterday that I'm going to just mention briefly. Um, some people noted that we have some important data gaps um, uh, regarding the experience of disabled persons and CRWDP could play a role in identifying those data gaps and in calling attention, the attention of governments uh, and perhaps Statistics Canada in particular to those data gaps. Um, uh, there was a sense that CRWDP needs to pay attention to and it actually is paying attention to, so reinforcing one of the some of the plans of the center to look at other jurisdictions, to look at what's been done in other jurisdictions, what, what can we learn from other jurisdictions in terms of how they approach the design of their disability program systems. Um, and there was a sense that we need to learn from past efforts to improve coordination, harmonization, navigability of disability programs. Um, there's already again been some work underway at the center to do that. Um, and though, so far, that work is finding that there are quite a few past efforts that in the end didn't have much impact. Um, and so uh, one of the uh, points from yesterday's discussion was, well, then we need to identify why didn't they have impact? What do we need to do differently so that the, the research of the center does have an impact at the end of the day? Um, and that also means engaging with uh, people involved in policy development at different levels, um, at the political level, at the senior uh, policy official level as well. That was a key purpose of yesterday's session, to begin that dialogue with people involved in policy development and hopefully that, that would be the beginning of an ongoing dialogue um, among policy officials and between policy officials and, and people working partners, researchers involved in the work of CRWDP going forward. It just rolls off the tongue, the acronym. Um, um, so um, so that, those are the key things that we heard yesterday. Um, and now we're going to hear from several panelists uh, about uh, work that they've been involved in that pertains to this challenge of improving coordination or navigability of, of the array of work disability programs. Uh, we're going to begin with uh, Sherry, Sherry Torgman, um, who is the vice president of the Caledon Institute of Social Policy. Sherry's been involved in some big social policy development issues for many years, um, including this, this issue of work disability policy. So Sherry's gonna start us off. <laughs> 